Hello again, everyone. Um, I had a fancy today to try and use this remaining bit of tissue paper that I stamped the other day for the 3D embossing folder with tissue paper uh, card. So what I've done is taken a front panel for one of my smallish cards. This is half a sheet of A4, cut down the length and then tent folded. And this is the, the panel that I cut with this Sizzix die. It's a nesting die, but uh, it is suitable for British dimensions. So I cut my panel and I got three little butterflies. There's five in this set. I can't remember the make. So I just cut three as if they're in a little trail of butterflies. I, fa I don't know if this um, body part actually goes with that set or not, but it was the nearest one I could find that would kind of go with it. So my idea is I will have this paper showing through the butterflies. And I think that looks kind of nice, really, because I've got two dark ones here. These are darkroom door stamps that I used on here. So I'm going to put that behind, right level with it, not on, not on foam tape or anything like that. And then pop the little bodies across like this and then just put a simple sentiment on. So I've got some um, black. I don't think I'm going to do a border, but we'll see. So I think the first thing to do probably is just to put some glue on the back of here and then attach as much of the tissue paper as I need. And then I'll just cut the rest off. OK, so let me get some of this berry art glue and I'm just going to go around the butterflies I'm not going to go around the edge of the um, the whole panel just yet because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it to be honest so let's just see uh, there was a little bit there that says postage or something was peeking through that one which I thought was kind of nice and the flower there is peeking through this one so I kind of liked that so let's put it there all right now I'm going to just trim the excess and I'm going to cut I'm not going to rip this just just trim the excess I'm just wondering about um, a border of some description. Do I want a very narrow border? Now that's dark and these even more. Can you see? Because it's tissue paper. I wonder if I put a colour behind, whether that would make a difference. Let me just get some coloured coloured card. I've got a bit of a an old background here. I wonder what that would look like behind. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, yes. Do I want that? Perhaps I will. Do I want the whole border? Just see, I wasn't thinking on these lines at all. Um, without that border, I think. Do I want a bit of purple in there? That's quite nice there, isn't it? Let's just chop this off. I wasn't thinking this way at all, really. But that's interesting, isn't it? Whoa. Right. 
What I think I will do is join this straight onto there so we get the, the most concentrated colour. And then I'll put some foam tape over the back. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I need some of this. Which way should I do it? Put it around the edge of here. Isn't it funny? I wasn't thinking at all on these lines before. Let's just have a look. I was just thinking the white, but it's rather nice. There, look at that. Whoa. Right. Now I'm going to put some foam tape on the back. This is going to make sure that that bit of uh, card there stays with it. I have to say the back of my cards recently has been very messy. I think it makes me think of my mother's embroidery. The back of her embroidery was always a mess as neat as the front. Wonderful. She was a very talented lady, my mum. She made all my clothes, sewing and knitting. She could crochet like you would not believe. I've got the most fabulous tablecloths that she's crocheted. She taught herself quite late in life. I don't think I'm going down that, <laughs> down that line, but still, never mind. I enjoy what I do, so. Right, a little bit of glue on the top so that we don't get stuck too soon. Right. There, now then, I'm just wondering about the sentiment. I was thinking about doing it onto black, but I wonder if there's any mileage in stamping onto some of this and then die cutting that. Have I got a piece big enough? Um, I thought I'd do this one, thinking of you. Ooh, it's a bit shimmy. This is the die cut. Will that, will that do it? Yes, it will. So, so let me just think a minute. What am I going to do? I need to stick this to that. Let me get some slap it on. Here's some slap it on. Oh, this is just not going anywhere the way I thought it was going to go. Let's just put a bit of this on here. Oh, just want a tiny bit. Come out all of a rush, I expect. Oh, helps if you get the plug out. There we go. Right, let me get a brush. If I just do that underneath like that. I don't know if this is going to work. This might be a complete pig's breakfast, but we'll see. One bit higher up, a bit more down here then. Okay. Now I was going to I was going to emboss um, would that still work on there um, oh wait, the answer to that is I don't know shall I try it I don't know that either um I've come to the conclusion I shouldn't tidy up in this craft room because when I tidy up, I put things away so that I can't find them. I ordered some new envelopes and this morning I was looking for something else and found a whole box of envelopes of the exact size that I just bought, beautifully stored away. And the other day I bought some replacement um, plates for my um, 
Platinum 6 and I've no idea where they are. I've obviously tidied them somewhere very, very sensible, so sensible that I just can't find it. So I don't know. I'm just going to put my anti-static over this because I want to stamp. I just don't know whether to do black or white. Shall I do black or shall I do white? Where's my stamp? Here it is. I haven't really got much more to do if that doesn't work. Well, is that big enough? That's big enough. Okay, I could do it in the other colour if I haven't got enough there. So, right, let me um, let me do this. I will do it in... What shall I do, black or white? I th I'll show you this, actually. This is a little stand made by Dale um, in New York State. Uh, he's got a 3D printer. He's made wonderful, wonderful things for his wife. He made this little tray here. I've got lots of lovely little things. And he made this stand for the Berry Art glue. Isn't that fabulous? So the, the glue is always at the tip and you just take it out, put the top on, put it back. What we could do probably is to add a little piece of silicone in there and then we wouldn't need to put the top on the the um the nib would go into the silicone wouldn't it um, just a thought anyway let me just carry on and do this i think i will do um let's do white i was going to do a white sentiment on a black piece of card and I'm going to do white. Let me do white. Don't know if this is going to work at all. Okay. Get a little piece of paper. And my white. I need to put a thing over that. Right, sorry about that. Right, the white, where am I going? Here we are. Let's try it. Don't know if it's going to dry nicely or not. We will see. Okay. Right, I'll whiz this up quickly. Right, let me just cut this out. I will tape it down, I think, to be on the safe side. I'm going to put it onto a magic mat because the magic mats do actually stay fairly flat which is uh, more than can be said for my other ones I'd love to know what I have done with my new plates they only came the other day oh I don't think this is very good no, I've gone off them. Can you see? I've gone a bit skew with. Try the other bit. Let me try this other bit. Where is it? Here it is. Let's just uh, right, get back to this. There we go. Anti-static, get, get rid of all this. I'll 
Okay. I'll try again. It feels all right. I don't know whether it's still going to be okay, but let's just see. I haven't used this stamp before, which is not always a good thing when you're just, you know, first time without it being conditioned. I'll try again. Perhaps I'll just cut this one with a trimmer to start with. I don't know. Right. White embossing powder. That's better, actually. Second time of stamping is always better, isn't it? Okay, let's try this one. Just wondering if I'd be better with this trimmer. Let's see. Once I've got a straight edge, I can now go right angles with this. Not far enough. bit. Okay, let's try this chap now instead. That's better, isn't it? There's a little mark there. There it goes. Excellent. There we go. Right. I think what I will do with this is just edge it with a bit of black just to tie it in a bit more. But I think that's going to be okay. I think it might have to go at the bottom. It's a bit long for there. Just a trifle, I think, unless I put it to the edge. That's a possibility, just to the edge of that panel. Well, that didn't go at all the way I thought it was going to go. I thought I was going to finish up with something quite different. But uh, it's the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? It's uh, interesting, nevertheless. I do like the, the fact that we can get some colour behind the, the tissue paper. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed... Oh, I know what I haven't done. I haven't put these on. Forgot about that. Oh my goodness. Let's put the, one, some of these on. I think that will improve them a little bit, actually. Let's just see. I always find something right at the end that I should have done and haven't. Okay. one. Here's another one. A bit much there actually. Let's just take a bit of that off.
This one's actually going to be a bit small for this big butterfly, but I don't have one that's the same sort of style in a bigger size. So I'm just going to have to kind of make do with this one, I think, really, which is the right way. It's difficult to tell. OK. There we go. Just put a bit of black on this. That's better. It's just, you know, framed it a little bit. I'm not going to stick it on for the minute because it's still wet, but I'm going to pop it on there. So I will put this, um, hopefully the picture, on the end of the video as ever. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.